So I've probably waited for the sun to go down. I'm gonna come out and I am spraying my squash plants with neem oil because these squash bugs have gone crazy. Absolutely crazy. I've had to come in and pick them off. And I'm getting brave. I'm just saying goodbye squash bug and I'll just pinch them in my fingers. I am trying to be very careful not to spray any neem oil on any of my blooms or my flowers that are gonna come up. So I'm just giving it a good little spray. And then if I look on the other underside and I see any squash bugs or squash bug um, eggs, I use my wonderful little fingernail and I peel them off. Look over here and look. I think I've already, yeah, that's my scarecrow. And I haven't got a lot of mulch on top of my on top of my cardboard yet. I'll get to that. But here's my lovely scarecrow. It does work. It's been keeping the birds out of my garden since I've done that. I've already, this is my zucchini. I've already looked at them once today, but look, they're back. I've already gone once today and picked these off. So what I'm gonna do now is just get my fingernail and just go and start peeling them off. If you leave them on there, they're going to just completely destroy your plants. Look at all those. And I've already done this once today. My husband's trying to get me to use some seven dust. I really don't want to because I don't like using chemicals. I uh, know I'm using neem oil, but I don't like to use the big bad stuff on my garden, especially since I'm going to be feeding it to my family. There's some more right there. Let's kind of peel those off. And I sometimes accidentally make a hole in the leaf but I'd rather have a little bit of a hole in the leaf than a whole bunch of um, squash bugs so I think we've got that one I hope so but oh yeah and I got a nice little zucchini probably be ready tomorrow you see that little zucchini and what I'm going to do now, oh, there's a little baby squash bugs right there. Holy patootie. I am so mad. That just irritates me. So what happened is I normally come out here every morning and do this, but I've been able to get back to work. And I've been picking up extra hour or picking up my normal hours. So I haven't been out here every morning picking these. Um, squash bug seed or eggs off of this so I've kind of gotten a little crazy and I'm very upset but I'll just go through make sure I got all that off and then I'm going to come back and just real light. Look, look, and guys, I tell you, I've already done this plant once today. And here we go again. There's more squash bug e eggs. Right there. You just kind of have to. I, I should probably bring an old toothbrush. It'd probably be a lot better, and I wouldn't damage my leaves quite as much. But every time I get out here, I go, oh man, I forgot my toothbrush. But now, since there's some, let's do it. Get off. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and spray my neem oil. Now, I got this neem oil at Lowe's. And I know some people just say to spray it on the bottom, but I really don't want to lose my plant, so I'm kind of going crazy. Um, but I mixed it up two tablespoons and one gallon of water. Um, it says that you can do up to four, but I just started with um, 
one or two just to see i don't want to go crazy i just kind of want to make them go oh i don't want to be over here no more that's what i'm trying to do and i probably should have oh there's a grasshopper a little snot you're not there allowed to be there either I know I should probably have some gloves on, but of course I left the house without my gloves. So, so there. And then I'm just gonna give a little squirt down at the bottom. Where I've got some straw down there, just in case they're down there. All right, so let's look at this one. We did this one earlier today too. This is my second. Um, oh, yep. Yeah. Look at that little sucker. You see that little snot? I'm going in and I'm squeezing. And of course they scare me to, be to beezies because they're they're kind of crunch. And then I, they really, really, really do stink once you smash them. But look, I hope I just missed that this morning, but I bet I didn't because I've already gone through these today and picked off the squash bug eggs. What are you? That's some sort of bug. We're just going to peeky peeky underneath all the leaves. And guys, I've been keeping squash and zucchinis. Or zucchini, this is my first year for zucchinis. But I've been keeping squash for years and this is really the only way that I have ever been able to keep rid of squash bugs before we moved to this house, I would put seven dust on it, but I really, like I said, I'm really trying to go more natural. Of course, you know the new more line, I'm using that. But um, just trying to go more natural so that I don't have chemicals in my food. You know, I am gonna be feeding, feeding my family with this and just really don't want to put a lot of chemicals in there, but this is the best way, you know, pick them all off and then spray them with a little neem oil. But you're gonna have to do it every day. As you could see, cause I've already done this once today. And that was because I used to get out here every day. And for the last two weeks, I've been back to work during the week. And um, I don't get home till late and I've kind of been tired. So I didn't get out here and now I'm being, it's showing me, it's going, hey Carrie, you gotta stay out here every day. It's a garden, you can't just plant me and expect me to live. Whew, now I've got all those to do. Ooh, wonderful. Well, I was just showing you how to do some of the, um, Yes, and I had to put these down because the wind was blowing so bad that I was blowing my cardboard away before I could get some more straw. But these are winter squash, and I noticed this morning that they were really getting eaten up by the squash bugs. So I am going to let y'all go. I'm going to sign off, and I am going to go attack these squash bugs because they're not allowed in my garden. If you have questions about squash bugs just leave a comment below and i will get back to you and if i can't find the answer i will try to find the answer for you y'all have a wonderful and blessed day and let's look over here at this wonderful sunset that my creator is making for us tonight isn't that just glorious how wonderful y'all have a wonderful night